Either you can go in search of significant either you can go in search of significant places or you can make any place significant. Only when you become significant as a lion, then you see it doesn't matter what you do, whatever you do is still worthwhile. Just imagine, if your thoughts and emotions were sweet and your body was here like it's almost not there, how your life would be? Uh, how significant is the place or the location where we do meditation? Well, there is a problem in this question. If I say yes, there will be trouble. If I say no, there will be trouble. So it's yes and no. <laughs> yes, because of course different places are geared in different ways. Some places are created for certain purposes. If you go sit in the Dhyana Linga, you will see that, that that's engineered for that. Or it could be just that there have been certain people or certain situations which have made certain spaces sacred. This is the whole basis of pilgrimage, that people went in search of those places. But another way of looking at it is, Either you can go in search of significant places or you can make any place significant. I feel the second option is good. But for that, your presence should become significant. Your presence being significant means, it's a simple arrangement. You have three dimensions of yourself right now. It can be further divided but basically, you have a physical body, you have a psychological structure of thought and emotion and you have an energy body. All these three dimensions are pervaded by certain karmic content. Depending upon this karmic content, your body behaves in one way, your mind behaves in another way, your energies behave another way. For the same situations, different people behave differently, all dimensions. Body behaves differently, mind behaves differently, energies behave differently. Now, in a way what we are looking at, right from the basic Shambhavi Mudra practice, what we are looking at is to rearrange them in such a way, the first thing is always life energy. The most dominant force in your life is not your body, because if body is the dominant force, it will do its own little compulsive things and that's all it can do. If mind is the most dominant thing, most of the time you don't know what the hell you're doing, all right? You'll always be thinking of freedom and imitating the society in which you live. That's all that'll happen. Yes, either you'll be imitating it or you will be reacting to it. Both ways you're a slave to what is around you because this is what the mind will do. So you have to arrange yourself in such a way your life or your life energy is the first thing in your life. This is the most dominant thing. Your body and your mind are minor things. If this one thing happens, then space doesn't matter. Wherever you sit, it's fine. Wherever you sit, it's a significant place because your life has become significant. Significance of life, when I say I'm not talking in terms of social terms, how significant you are in this world, that's not the point. As a life, you become significant. Only when you become significant as a life, then you see it doesn't matter what you do, whatever you do is still worthwhile. Simple things, complicated things, big things, small things, it doesn't matter. Whatever little thing you do is just fantastic, simply because you have a, as a life has become significant. If you allow your body to become significant, well, you just want to serve the body all the time, how many troubles people are getting into trying to serve their body all the time. Just eating, sleeping, copulation and dying is taking a whole life for most people. Just these arrangements are taking a whole life, isn't it? 
and the psychological nonsense endlessly it's going on. Just imagine, if your thoughts and emotions were sweet and your body was here like it's almost not there, how your life would be? That's how it would be, simply. Doesn't matter wherever you are, however you are, everything is fine with you because as a life, nothing really bothers you, it's only physical and mental discomforts. That's all, isn't it, the whole world? That's all you're suffering, physical and mental discomforts. If these two things became minor, not that it will disappear, they became minor in your life. Life became significant. Then you don't have to go in search of any pilgrimage, any place. Where you are is fine. In fact, your presence will make the place significant. <laughs>